Namaste and a calm sunny afternoon from Nepal. My name is Nishal Devkora and I'm a member of Wetlands for Nepal project which comprises of four other Nepalese nationals and our mentor Yatse from WSP Netherlands. Uh, behind me as you can see there is a small lake and this lake is called Nartaha where our project is uh, currently running and we are tackling two issues as related to this uh, new lake. One is sedimentation, another is nutrient pollution. And let's see, let's have a closer look at where the problem is located. So the nutrient problem that I mentioned before is coming from the agriculture part of this catchment. And the sediment problem is coming from the construction site that you can see over there. So all that mud and debris flows from here, there, and then comes from here and goes to the inlet over here. And you can see, if you close in a little bit, then there's a lot of mud, sand and silt over here which all goes from this and then dumps in the lake. That's what's creating the problem. The idea is to construct a sedimentation uh, retention pond here uh, which will capture all the sediment coming from this side and it, we are also thinking of uh, diverting the flow of water so that it goes from this side, captures the sediment and then flows into the, our natural. This is the design for our retention pond whereupon following the arrows you can see the runoff following the subcashment B to a buffer area and finally to the retention pond. Retention pond will have a deeper section to allow for sediment retention and a shallower section having macrophytes and nutrients for nutrient retention. So apart from designing the pond, we've also been collecting baseline data such as depth measurement, precipitation measurement, soil nutrient dynamics, physicochemical parameter readings, and even some macroinvertebrate collection. A local stakeholder workshop was also organized where we received many feedbacks regarding our work. Their positive responses have encouraged us to replicate similar nature-based solution initiatives in other semi-urban and urban wetlands. Uh,